Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some chocolate storybook cotton candy. We have tried, I think, four of these in the past. So if you're interested in those flavors, they were all different flavors, then type in Tammy Dunn chocolate storybook and that video will pop up for you. Um, I have the candy corn. And a pumpkin pie. These are pricey. At least they were pricey where we bought them. They were $4.99. So $5 expensive for a, little thing. a piece. But we bought them at the fresh market. And the fresh market you are going to spend a little more at the fresh market, but usually it's not too terribly much more. So if you have these available in your store, please tell me how much you normally pay for this them. Brand. If for this particular brand, Chocolate Storybook, and then I will know how much more yeah. they're Because they sell them. this something similar to this at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah, it's not this brand. No, it's not this brand. I'm just saying it's cotton candy. Right. It says, spun fresh for you in small batches, store away from the heat and light, keep covered, some settling is natural. This is made in this, uh, West This Moines, Iowa. It's www.chocolatestory.com. It says, we make gourmet cotton candy in tons of great flavors, great for party favors and gifts. MyGourmetCottonCandy.com. So there's two websites on here. One serving per container, 1.2 ounce, 34 grams is 130 calories. For so your you, whole tub? For the whole tub. The Mine's whole 140 tub calories full. For the whole thing. So. Uh, that's less than a candy bar. This is a candy corn. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine you spending four, four something for, for cotton candy and giving it to you. I know. This is. <laughs> I feel like a cat. <laughs> You've seen this. <laughs> That's what it felt like. <laughs> this is like um, mom and dad gourmet. Yeah, cotton candy. you're not gonna open this up and give it to the kids. This is an I'm gonna spend five bucks and let little Jimmy with his sticky wet fingers <laughs> stick them down in there. Ain't happening. Okay, so candy corn. I don't even cotton candy in ages. Mm -mm. I remember from trying this before though, this brand, they do a good job. Mm -hmm. And they have some very bizarre flavors. Mm -hmm. So it would be totally worth your time to go to their website and check them out. You know, that's good. Mm -hmm. If you blind on me, I wouldn't say candy corn though. I wouldn't either. It tastes like candy, but I don't know if it's mm -hmm. candy corn. There is just an <coughs> overall sweetness about it. Yeah. But candy corn has a very... Oh, I need to... oh I was going to see if you could get it up and by yourself. If it had a lip, I could. <gasps> You're such a tired. <laughs> now, this one has um, white and then it's brown on the bottom like a pie. Like yeah, it's like two different colors. I'm surprised, honestly, that they didn't make this three different colors. You know, because a piece of... Candy corn is typically white and orange and, and yellow, just like on the front. And I'm surprised they didn't do that with this. So it's all orange. So you're gonna get a little of each. I got just the orange. This is pumpkin pie. Oh, wow. Got a very strong spice. Mm -hmm. It does. The white's different. The white is different, so you need to draw them together. Yeah, I, think we, I don't want to eat any more of that. Yeah, you, you need to try it together. The white's like sugar. Really. Mm -hmm. You know what, though? I, like I kind of think you need it. It helps balance out a really strong spice. Yes, because the pumpkin spice itself is strong. I mean, it's good. There's it's nothing really wrong good. with it. But it is kind of strong, it. so this kind of, the white stuff kind of just adds like a, not a creamy flavor, but just a sweet flavor to yeah. it. It just yeah. it makes it that much sweeter, but, and that's okay, I don't mind that, but out of the two, I like the uh, candy corn. I do too, just because it's pure sweetness, you don't yes. have to sit and mix it match, it's just pick it, get it to eat it. It truly does not remind me of a piece of candy corn though, it, 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 um, it, it's just sweet. Yeah, I mean, there's it just tastes like, different than sugar, but it. it I, I there's not enough there to 
be candy corn for no, some reason. No, but it is good. Yeah. So we, uh, fortunately for us, we have a, a two grandchildren who <laughs> love uh, cotton candy. I mean, Kevin and I like it too, but we're fortunate that we can share this with them, and I think they will really love it. So they can, we're going to do what we said you shouldn't do. We're going to let little Jimmy stick his wet fingers in here. We don't have to clean up after. We don't have to worry about that. We can say, here you go, enjoy it, and then we're going home. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody else had to clean up. After. That's right. That's right. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.